And does it also depend like, oh, if you are investing in GCP, just go to do it or, you know, go to Spur or uh, Copilot, depending on Microsoft, you, have, it, you know, you feel that, no, that won't be the case. People will be able to pick and choose the way they want. The cloud provider you're on will definitely have an offering. All three cloud providers do. So give it a go. Uh, you could have some certain rubrics that you want to clear to make sure that it's meeting your bar. So that what those rubrics are will probably have to be set by a technical steering committee. Um, at the very least, the the coding assistant should be able to provide the commands for the for that specific cloud, right? So it, it should be uh, whatever the uh, Azure command line interface is. At the very least, you should be able to create a script in that. Uh, or same thing for Amazon, same thing for Google. Like you know, G Cloud commands, Duet AI should be good at doing at the very least those commands. Um, and if you if you think about you know, then, then you kind of expand the scope. Then you say, okay, well, how well can it actually help me solve the problems that are generally a lot of toil? So can I generate good Terraform out of, you know, these coding assistants for the platform that I'm on? Theoretically, the coding assistant from the specific cloud provider should be good on operating that specific cloud provider. So, so you can have that. Then you can say, okay, what about operationally? Can it help me debug problems that I'm having with my cloud? So if I'm getting this log message error, if I'm getting these types of audit log errors, if I'm getting um, some some type of uh, notification, uh, you know, can can the can either you know um, the Azure assistant or Duet AI or whoever else help me get to the bottom of it quickly? So so what are these what are these tests that we can make that allow a team to actually either put out a proper RFP? or do a proper internal test, uh, or really have a quanti quantitative assessment uh, based on whichever cloud they're on that to say, does, does the coding assistant from this cloud itself qualify, or do I need an external coding assistant you know, that is being built by a startup or a third-party company that is specializing in the, the area that I want? It may turn out that you end up with two, that your SRE team uses one, your, your, and your developer team uses another, and your your operations team uses another, and that's fine because it's again, it's a power tool, and and people who are again going back to the woodworking analogy, uh, people who are doing you know floors and and doors are not using the same power tools as people who are doing you know wooden sculptures. Like it's slightly different, right? So so uh, I think I think more and more these tools will start to get really specialized. There'll be some that'll purport to do them all. People will have preferences for the for the more nuanced use cases that they have.